Our Carly Van Cleve sat down with a couple who had an abortion years ago when they were teenagers. The couple says that has shaped how they view the abortion debate today. And Carly shares their story right now. Back when we were teenagers, uh, we were in this situation we shouldn't have been in. Lisa Davis was 18 years old when she found out she was pregnant. Both of us you know, grew up in churched homes and we, we had a pretty decent childhood, but sometimes when you get in a situation like that, you don't always make the best decisions. She says she felt lost. Just remember just like emotionally, physically, I just crashed. I just was like, I don't know what to do. Her husband, Mike Davis, who was her boyfriend at the time, says he just wanted to be there for her no matter what. I did not... Uh stand up for what was right. I was raised Catholic, so I knew what was right and wrong, but I was just kind of like, whatever you decide, I'll be behind you. Lisa got an abortion. I just was on autopilot, kept the appointment, and it was devastating. After that, the couple says they were struggling for a long time, not entirely sure why. The young lady, I should say, that walked into that clinic was not the same one that walked back out. There was definitely a change. Eventually, they got married and had two kids. Even then, they say there was always something off between them. I, I, I blame her for anything. I, was, I had anger issues. I was overprotective of our kids. It was like in my mind, I'm thinking, I'm not losing another one. It was, it was just devastating, and I um, fell into a depression. It was difficult, but they say everything changed when Lisa found out about a national organization called Deeper Still. It's a nonprofit that provides counseling for people after they've had an abortion. What abortion does is it, it, it elicits a grief response. I mean, it's a loss, no matter which way you look at it. So the men just forget about it, and they push it off, and they know that they're dealing with something, but don't know what it is. Each of them went on a retreat with the organization. Until then, both tell me they never truly understood how their abortion emotionally impacted their relationship, especially making that decision at such a young age. The trip was life-changing. It changed our marriage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They say the experience changed them, so much so that they decided to open their own chapter of Deeper Still in Fort Wayne, hoping to help others in similar situations. Now we find ourselves called to do this here in Indiana for people who were in the place that we were at to help them to heal like we've healed. Lisa says they simply create a space for people to talk about their experience with abortion and hopefully heal any emotional wounds. We're not trying to go out there and be political. We're not trying to tell people how they should feel or not feel. We're here for people who are already hurting. She says because of their own experience, they support additional abortion restrictions and maybe even a ban in Indiana. Because of our situation, we don't support abortion because we've seen the damage it does. But she says their organization, Deeper Still of Northern Indiana, is meant to help people overcome no matter their belief on the topic. It's a human issue. It's a it's a emotional issue and a spiritual issue, I believe, before it's a political issue. Carly Van Cleve, ABC 21. And the couple tells us they'll be traveling to the State House tomorrow to speak to lawmakers during the special session.